What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm doing a super like relaxed, impromptu, uh, I figured I'd just show you guys everything I've been like buying lately because I feel like I've been like just getting stuff here and there for a little while now and I usually like to show you guys like what's been good, what's been bad. First up, I think I'll show you the things I got recently from TJ Maxx. You guys know I've been obsessed with perfume lately so there's quite a lot of perfume in this but some other things as well. Um, I ended up finding this Saint Tropez gradual one minute pre-shower mousse. It was on sale for $4, so I figured it would be worth trying it out when it was on sale. I love to use fake tanners, but I hate like sleeping in it and then it gets on your sheets or like it smells bad in my opinion and it's like sticky kind of. So it's not my favorite. I'm actually tanning, so I thought that this would be great and I've watched a few little like YouTube videos on this. If you guys want me to update you guys in the comments if I like it or not, because I think I'm gonna start using it tonight. And I also found this cute little cotton candy crush. It was only $10 at TJ Maxx. And if you guys like super sweet vanilla, if you're a fan of like pink sugar kind of smells, I feel like you would like this if you see it. I don't even know the brand of this, it just says, Cotton Candy Crush. Everett's not a huge fan of like vanilla sweet scents, but I am, so I wear what I want. <laughs> I picked up this Miami Glow by JLo. It's a body mist. It smells exactly like the perfume. It was really funny because when I first purchased the perfume, I was like, oh, I don't like this. And then it actually grew on me and now I love it. I would say it's kind of a soapy, kind of beachy, but it's also kind of soapy in my opinion. It smells like a girl that lives in Miami, but she's like doing her laundry. At first I hated it, but now I love it, so I bought this to pair with the actual perfume. Next door, and then actually I ended up going over to Walmart, and I was looking for some different products, but I didn't end up finding what I was looking for, but that's okay, because I got this instead, and it was really affordable. It's from the brand LA Colors, which is like a super cheap brand. I have an eyeshadow palette from them that's all shimmers, and it's amazing. Like it is so shimmery. It definitely is as good as like high end expensive, expensive eyeshadows. And so I saw this one and it was only like $3. It's a cool toned palette as you guys can see. I thought it looked really pretty and I was so impressed with the other one that I had that I figured I'd try this one for three bucks. Moving on to some of the things I got on Amazon. I recently got this little like wood, it's like a massager, massager tool. And I have been going to the gym recently. I'm so proud of myself because I've been really consistent and going probably like four to five times a week and really actually enjoying it. I never realized I would like enjoy going to the gym. I had tried it in the past and I didn't like it, but now I'm trying to do more of like the weights and like gain muscle. Whereas before I was doing like cardio. I hate cardio. <laughs> been using this to like rub out my muscles when they're sore at night and it's been really nice i use it on my stomach a lot too because my abs and i've actually tried to get in the habit of at night doing a like lymphatic drainage on my stomach so you do a uh, certain like motions of rubbing your stomach with body oil it's good for your lymphatic drainage so I have been doing this on all of my sore muscles and it just feels super good. I don't know. Oh, this, this has been helping me. This is a little like weekly um, calendar notebook. So it has Monday through Sunday and then you just fill it out for the week. And I find that putting this on the fridge all filled out really just helps every night to like remember what's going on for the week all in one place. So that's been great. I've been loving that, staying organized. I did purchase two fragrances off of Amazon recently and I like them both, which is awesome because, you know, it's a blind buy usually when you're buying from Amazon. I got this one from La, Re La, Rev, La Reve right here. This is called In Flames and this is a Polish company, I believe, and they make a lot of clones for high-end expensive fragrances. And this one smells so good. I love it so much because it is actually a clone or very similar to one of my very favorite fragrances ever. And that is uh, Paco Rabanne Olympia Intense. So this is what this smells like and it's pretty spot on. Like I probably, 
maybe I would say it's like a 95% dupe and this is expensive and this cost me I think like 10 to 15 dollars like super cheapy I will put the fragrance notes right here but basically it smells very ambery kind of salty it's like rich and syrupy I would say very sweet I wouldn't say that this is a perfume that you should wear like daytime in the heat that would probably get cloying and just like sickly and maybe headache inducing but at night in the summertime when it cools down it smells like a sexy tropical like salty ambery deliciousness and then kind of going in a different direction i got this one right here middle eastern fragrance i love middle eastern fragrances because they're super affordable they're usually pretty well made or like strong in quality and so i just feel like you get more bang for your buck with sorry about my phone you guys uh middle eastern fragrances i've had extremely good luck this one is called durham wardy I heard about this from one of my favorite fragrance youtubers i've mentioned her before but her name is coco pebs and she is so fun she's such a fun time i'll link her down below but i got this because of her and it smells amazing floral scent but it's also not soapy it smells like a clean girl scent like this is a kind of scent that is like very girly very feminine would be appropriate for like first dates, maybe like shopping days with your girlfriends, brunch. What I really like about it is it's not overly floral. It has like floral, but it also smells just like a clean girly girl that just smells like sweet and good. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. I think that this is a crowd pleaser, an easy blind buy. I feel like most people would like this beautiful beautiful and a huge bottle this is a 3.4 fluid ounce and i think i got this around 25 to 29 dollars i ended up going to target and i got a few little things i ended up picking up these sunglasses right here these were 15 dollars and no ziggy no crying baby i actually don't have that many black frames and i like this kind of style and i actually don't have that many black sunglasses and then i also got these ones these ones are super like funky but I really like them. I couldn't leave them behind. These ones remind me of like 70s Gucci. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, sassy, funky. I can't look straight at you guys. Uh, but I think that I could style these with the like right outfit. I think that I could like make them really like fun and funky in a statement sunglass. And then I also ended up getting this really cute Wild Fable. I don't know, it's like a long sleeve. It's kind of like workout material. It's a long sleeve, very stretchy v-neck. It could be kind of like spicy and it's tight since it's that like workout material, it's stretchy. Okay, I got some stuff at Goodwill. Everett and I went to a Goodwill together. I will try all this stuff on maybe tomorrow because I it's getting dark here tonight and Everett and I, we haven't made dinner yet. So out on a date night and we were near Goodwill. And so he was so gracious to let me go into Goodwill because he knows that that's my love language. <laughs> Shopping at Goodwill is my love language. Bill, what's my love language? Burgers. I got some cute little things and I figured I'd show you. <laughs> uh, only like four things. It is a Saltwater Luxe designed in Los Angeles little blazer. It's kind of um, shimmery, silky material. I'm sure it's just polyester, it's not actual silk. Obviously very fall print on there. A very fall color with a little bit of like, I think it's a floral print embossed in it. I wasn't sure if it would look good with my hair color anymore. I think that this would look really nice on brunettes. Maybe my friend Amy might want it. But yeah, I actually looked up this brand and it's an expensive brand too. Their stuff's very expensive. So I ended up getting it since it was only $6. If I don't wear it, maybe I'll give it to my friend, Amy. I also found these little brown swim shorts right here. We have been going on little floats down a river that's like near us. I feel like this would be good for our little floats on the river. Found this black Forever 21. This is kind of like a cropped zip up hoodie. It's not a hoodie. It's like a sweatshirt with a zip in the front. I don't have one like that. It's not so weird. I have so many clothes and I don't have a very basic item. So I got this and I think that it would look cute at the gym once it starts to get a little bit colder out. It was only $5.99. Probably my favorite thing I found. 
because it's just like the vibes. So it is this Tommy jeans, Tommy Hilfiger, um, do they call this tartan? And the green and blue like collegiate looking plaid, I think it's called, I'm sorry, don't kill me if I'm totally wrong, but I think it's called tartan, tar tartan, tart, anyways. So fall, apparently I'm already getting ready for fall and I was so excited to find them. They are low rise. And I'm not sure if I'm like fully committed to low rise yet, but I thought they were cute. And even if I wore them maybe with a bodysuit so like my belly isn't hanging out, I feel like they're very 90s. And I liked that they weren't super skinny at the ankle. And I can see these with like some wood, like wooden clogs or even like boots with like a wooden chunky heel, I think would be adorable. $8. And then I got a pair of jeans. They're just Old Navy, but you know what? Some of my favorite thrifted shorts that I've been wearing all summer, like my go-to, are Old Navy. Very similar looking right here. So they're just a basic medium wash. Pockets kind of high on the tush, which I feel like makes me look like I have a perkier tush than I do. I have a very flat tush. <laughs> Guys, my very favorite store. You guys know me. I love Zara. I love Zara so much. I went in for a fragrance. <laughs> and they didn't have it. It's okay because I've been getting a lot of fragrances lately. They recently had like a big sale going on and I found two things that I thought were beautiful and very affordable. Both of these things were only $10, which at Zara is pretty darn good. The first one is this really beautiful, look at this print. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's like, like palm leaves or like tropical leaves in this beautiful like rainbowy colors and then the front of this dress is one of those ones that like zigzags and corsets up in the front and then i also got a pair of denim jeans they're just like a more straight leg i love zara denim for my body type zara denim works really well i know that it's not for everyone i will say that i don't have much like hip butt I'm kind of like a stick on the bottom. I feel like I'm more triangle shaped, so I'm like broader at the top and then like no booty, no legs, no thighs, no hips, no butt. I don't know if it would work for people with different body types. I can only speak for my own body type, but I really like the way that their jeans and denim fit and also just like the styles of their denim. I got those for $10 and I was so excited. See you guys tomorrow guys it's the next morning i'm just getting ready to film another video right now so i'm putting on my makeup but i figured we try out um this new eyeshadow palette i also did try out the foam tanner that you put on before the shower and i just spread it all over my body and then took my shower as usual it's so weird because i feel like you just like rinse it off when you shower you know like usually you have to let something sit for a while to let it develop so i don't know how it works that you just like put soap on right after that and it doesn't come off i also ended up getting this new bobby brown concealer right here so i'll try that out too they sent this over to me I tried to work with this eyeshadow palette and I would say it's mediocre at best. Like, yeah, it's not comparable to the one I had before. Let me show you that one if I can find it. This one, Ellie Colors Shimmer Eye Palette. Look at these shimmers. Like, they're crazy. They're so pretty, super, super shimmery, very glittery. Here's the shimmers here. I mean, they're okay. I made it work and I don't think it's bad. I just like don't think it's good. It's definitely like under $5 eyeshadow palette. This one I think was also around $3 and it's just like so bomb. Is it worth $3? Yeah, maybe $3. Is it worth any more than that? No. If you find these ones or I don't know if they make this in other colors, but this one, definitely worth it. All right guys, here is the final makeup look. I think it like came together well, but I really think that that other palette really just like helped the shimmer. Everything looks good now that everything's finished, but 
I don't know if I'd necessarily say run out and buy this though. Let's try on maybe some of the clothes now. I realized that I found another TJ Maxx bag that I didn't show you guys yesterday and I had two little things in it. I forgot that I got these, they were hiding. So I did end up purchasing this Shea Aromatherapy Golden Body Shimmering Bronzing Lotion. I like to wear stuff like this on like my chest and stuff when I'm in the sun and I have like a pretty blouse on that you can see like my shoulders and my chest. So I had seen these on sale when I was there like a few months ago from the brand Mia and they're just like little slides, you know, like chunky little throw on slide sandals, but I like them because they're a little bit more of like an elevated than the like Adidas or like kind of boring slides. I feel like they just look a little bit more elevated with this cute kind of like leathery pleather knot detail in the front there. I think they were only like 12 bucks or something. So that was great. Okay, let's try on some of the clothes. Okay, first off, I'm gonna try on the Zara jeans with the Wild Fable black stretchy workout top slash long sleeve going out top. This outfit is cute. <laughs> it's like super casual, but I like it. Um, here's the sunglasses from Target. I think that they're such a vibe, just like very sassy, chunky. I love them. Quite a lot of cleavage. I'll probably wear like a little like lacy thing underneath, like a lacy bra, so it's not quite this much cleavage because this is a bit much for me. <laughs> but I like that the top is tight and then the jeans are kind of loose and baggier. I did size up in the jeans one size just to make them a little comfy because I've noticed that a lot of my jeans have gotten a little tight lately. I'm gonna show you outside so that you guys can see the full outfit. <laughs> Let's try on, oh, let's try on the blazer. It is super pretty. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about it with my hair color though. Like, I feel like this color just really would look good with a brunette. I don't know. I feel like if my hair was brown, like this color looks so good on people with brown hair, or like brown hair with highlights, like caramel highlights. Okay, I just put on the old navy jeans. They're kind of a light wash, a little bit of a straight cut. And I like them because they're kind of like comfortable and loose, just like the Zara ones. And here's a little zip up hoodie from Forever 21. It's extremely cropped and it has kind of like this raw edge on the bottom. I think this would look cute at the gym with like a sports bra underneath if I wanted something like a little bit on top over the sports bra. And I would probably pair it with these black slides. These just go with like everything. <laughs> I feel like it looks cute though, even just like open. What do you think? I like it. I suspected. These are fabulous. I love them so much. I hope you guys can see. I don't know how I feel about like the ultra low rise. I'm gonna have to get used to that or maybe wear it with like a bodysuit. But these are so cute. They fit really nice. They're super soft and stretchy and comfortable. Like they're not an annoying material. And I feel like they make me look like I have a little bit of a booty, even though I don't, which is always great in my opinion. I'd maybe wear it with these, like funky, sassy. Is this not a fit? I feel like it is. Kind of funky, sassy. The sunglasses are sassy, the pants are sassy. I don't know, I'm not, <laughs> I think ever hates the sunglasses, but I don't care because I think they're fun. <laughs> they are kind of crazy though. Okay. I have to charge my camera battery and we'll be back to try on the Zara dress. Is the Zara dress that was $10? I feel like it's so pretty. I absolutely love the print of this dress. Like tropical, colorful. I feel like I need to go to like Miami or some tropical vacation that I'm actually not going on <laughs> or some sort of tropical Mexico anywhere. I might have to go on a vacation just to wear the dress. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. So extra. I love it. I think it's so pretty. It is a little small because this is an extra small and I would probably say I would have gotten a small had I had the choice. So glad that I saw that the last second when I was leaving Zara. I like turned around when I saw the print and I was like, what's that? Let's try on that little shimmery chest stuff while we're here. Here it is. The last thing that we have to try. I do feel like that little self tanner, the before shower one helped a little bit but it's definitely like pretty subtle. So we'll see what it looks like in a few days. Ooh, it smells like um, 
coconut pina colada, like coconut. Oh yeah, delicious. It smells very beachy. Bronzy, tan, glowy, as if you're just like a glowing goddess. Pina colada. Yeah, it's not overly shimmery, but really nice. If you wanted to add a little more like highlight on top, I think that that would be easy to do. All right, you guys, I think that that's it for this video. Um, I showed you guys everything on, I tried out everything. Let me know if you guys like this style of video where I just kind of show you guys what I got and like trying it on and using it and seeing, telling you guys my first impressions. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.